next speaker, Mr. Kazuski, you'll have two minutes. Pursuant to the Brown Act, I request that CTV show all of my slides. I'm going to talk about the Glor Torrey Pines Glider Port Accident Review. Um, this is August 8th, 2010. Paragliders collide midair, two paragliders over Torrey Pines. July 24th, 2011, paraglider hurt after collision at Torrey Pines. August 12th, 2011, paraglider hurt in Torrey Pines area crash. May 12th, 2012, woman dies in Torrey Pines paraglider crash. December 24th, 2012, paraglider rescued at Torrey Pines airlifted to La Jolla. March 6th, 2013, paraglider rescued from the cliffs. March 12th, 2014, this is a rescue. I took these photos myself. The slide's not advancing. October 5th, 2014, another rescue at the glider port. Uh, April 2nd, 2015. September 21st, 2015. March 20th, 2016. April 1st, 2016. March 25th, 2017. January 16th, 2018, March 9th, 2018, and of course, March 9th, 2019, two dead at Torrey Pines. Next slide. This one has been broadcast all over the country. Next slide. There's the gliders on the cliff. Next slide. Helicopter rescue and taking away the bodies. Next slide. This is our rating system for United States hang gliding paragliding system. Beginner P1, intermediate or novice P2, intermediate P3, advanced P4. Next slide. The Torrey Pines rules require a P3 with additional hours, more hours than even a P1 or a P2, and more hours than even a P3. Next slide. These are the actual ratings of the pilots that were collided. One of them got his P3 just in February, just a couple of weeks before the accident. The other was a P1 that he just got that in February. This Torrey Pines Glider Report needs oversight. Thank you. That concludes non-agenda public comment this morning. Thank you. Are there any 